hello you guys this is relentless renee i'm back again with another video i hope that it's not too loud because i am at work i try to record at work because my husband and my family requires so much of my time so i try to do it at work so i don't have to cut in on family time but anyway um the name of this article is um well basically i'm talking about um a child with a set of twins getting left in a hot car. The father name is Juan Rodriguez and after realizing he left his twins in a hot car you could hear him crying that he killed his babies. And the article reads, I killed my babies, the distraught father charged in his own twin son and daughter's hot car deaths screams as he discovered their bodies. Police's I guess in that town were investigating it or whatever, but he said, I left them in the car. The father's 39 years old. He can be seen wailing as he stood on a Bronx Street Friday beside his Honda Accord. Where inside his year old children, Luna and Phoenix, were lifeless in their car seats. And they were already like frosting at the mouth. You know, I guess because it was so hot. The father's anguish was revealed by sources as he awaited arraignment on Saturday afternoon in the Bronx. Rodrigo faces felony manslaughter and negligent homicide charges in the baby's death. The pair was left in the car at 130 West Kingbridge Road from just short of eight hours as Rodriguez worked his shift his job as a social worker for the nearby VA um, hospital. Rodriguez, which is a married dad with three other children, was captured on video parking his car at that address at 8.22 a.m. Friday. Videos, um, I guess next shows him returning to the car a minute before 4 p.m. Once in custody, Rodriguez refused to speak to a Bronx prosecutor instead asking for an attorney now this is so sad I mean I hate that this happened <sighs> like do y'all got do you guys think that everybody should be charged um for this type of negligence because we do know accidents happen we do know that some people actually set out because i remember one father actually looked this stuff up online how long the babies need to be there and about um hot car deaths when it comes to babies and stuff like that but i truly in my heart believe that this was a hundred percent accident because this guy is a social worker that don't make it right because he's a social worker but i truly believe that this was an accident you know, we got to be more aware now. When I was coming up, I never heard such things as um, hot car death when it came to an infant. I have, I, I mean, it's the new millennials. It's like, I've never heard this before. So that's why when I heard it for the first time in the past couple of years, and I used to work at um, a county jail, and this business owner, he he came to jail on a charge for his daughter's death because he left her in the car at his business but at the same time um the father and the mother you know changed duties and that's not something that he normally do on a daily basis because the mother his wife always take the baby to the um daycare but for some reason she had something to do and it he had to take the child so, but they didn't charge him with it. They charged him with um, negligence, but not with murder. You know, but I'm pretty sure that him losing his kid is a forever murder charge. In his mind and in his heart, he will always have that on his conscience. And I'm going to tell you incident about myself. Now, I've done this before, but my kids were at a certain age, but... I ran inside Family Dollars and I left my doors locked and the air blazing. My oldest was up, 
But just that second of me running in the store to get some laundry detergent, and I mean, it's like five, six people was in front of me, and I was just asking them, like, can you please let me go before you, please, 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 and I went in and was out, y'all, within, I know, five or six minutes, my daughter fell asleep, and she will, would not wake up, and I had to call the cops, because I couldn't get in my car, so... I see how some people can do dumb things and don't think something could happen, but this is truly sad. This is a sad situation. I've also ran across an article where this lady went to Walmart and she had a, a you know those realistic dolls? She had one of those dolls in her car seat, in a child's car seat, and somebody reported that a kid was in the car and they went and like banged all her windows out and just went ham on her car and it was a play doll and people do play games like that but I think they should be charged as well with something for wasting resources time by playing like that or whatever the case may be don't even let the, the doll be visible if you know it, the child is not real and it's a possibility that 911 could be called you wasting taxpayers money by playing games like that but the summertime is coming you guys i've never like i say in my life heard of all these kids deaths like this right here but it's just sick it's just crazy so let's just watch out for one another just be vigilant you know if you got so much on your mind that you can't comprehend you know your child being left in a car Maybe you need to slow down and, and understand what's more important. That is your kid's life. Your child comes first. But anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.